Where are the ducks? How's the hunting been? We're going to be talking about those things this time on Surviving Duck Season. Surviving Duck Season, offering you the best waterfowl content. Subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, and don't miss any of our great content. Presented by Mojo Outdoors and High and Dry. Hey, I'm Joel Strickland. Thanks for watching. I'm out scouting this afternoon looking for some ducks to figure out where we're going to go hunting in the morning. Uh, we've had some icy, cold conditions the last couple of days, but very different than what we've experienced nearly the entire duck season. Uh, now today, I wanted to take a few minutes and, and talk about duck season uh, as it's wrapping up um, for most of the the country that's still duck hunting uh, either this weekend or at the very end of the month as far as the ducks go um, and so I wanted to kind of share with you what we've experienced uh, throughout the season kind of what we have to look forward to for these last few days and also uh, talk about what we're hearing um, from reports from across the country and I'd really also like to hear from you so make sure that you comment in the section below I'd like to get your feedback as well but uh, like I said, we're getting some cold temperatures. Uh, the high today was like 38 or 39, but after tomorrow, it's going to warm back up. So that's going to be kind of, uh, you know, really just a two or three day event for us. Uh, not really any big weather up north, no snowfall uh, or that sort of thing that would help to usher the birds south. We did hope that that was going to happen. We we hope that the uh, the super cold temperatures in uh, Missouri and Illinois would push you know what ducks are up there to us, but really haven't seen much of an influx in the last day or so. Um, you know, as far as our duck season has been, we've had unseasonably warm temperatures through most of the season. Early season was probably one of the very best, you know, first 10 days that, that I've ever seen in my life uh, for Arkansas. But after that, the, uh, the temperatures warmed up. Uh, most of the birds that we had moved back to the north and we've really haven't got an influx of new birds that we know of the entire season. Uh, so we've been dealing with stale birds since December. Uh, it makes it a lot more difficult for the hunting situation because the birds know the game, they know where everything is. We've got some really great properties. We're holding quite a few birds, but again, they're stale, so they're not responding very well to the calls. They're shying away from blinds, and so we're doing our very best with those conditions and uh, trying to change things up a little bit, doing some layout hunts and that sort of thing. But our season hasn't been great. You know, that's that's the reality. Uh, we have shot birds at times. Um, most days we have one blind that does really well, um, but we don't all do really well most days and that's just kind of the the nature of it uh considering the weather and that sort of thing uh we hear you know really the same story from from a lot of people if they're doing that well a lot of people we talk to are, are doing a lot a lot worse than that they're not seeing very many ducks they're not shooting any ducks hardly um and that's unfortunate uh but that's kind of what what we're you know what we're dealing with in arkansas uh, I've heard that uh, Oklahoma has, has picked up birds um, and has done pretty well. Um, guys in Texas, especially in the upper half of Texas, um, are doing really, really well. Um, the Panhandle and uh, Northern Texas, uh, those guys are really, really smacking them. Uh, my buddy Jason Craig uh, over there northwest of Fort Worth is is really, really doing doing well. He's telling me that they're killing limits every day, so good for them. Uh, my buddy Jeremiah Brooks uh, has moved his operation from Alaska uh, to the northeast at Cape Cod, and uh, they've been doing really, really well. Also, uh, killing lots of sea ducks um, here in the last couple of months, and so we're glad to hear that. But um, he's also telling me that he's not seeing quite the numbers that they normally do, and it feels like that the uh, migration has not uh, done uh, you know what they hoped it would do even though they are still shooting limits of birds nearly every day uh, West Coast I'm hearing that that uh, in California uh, they're shooting lots of geese and shooting some ducks as well but you know they're not doing as well as they hope to on the ducks 
I'd love to hear what you guys are experiencing and what you're seeing. Whether you're duck hunting or whether your season is closed, you may be living in the in the Midwest or something like that. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you're seeing. Are you seeing ducks? Are you guys shooting ducks? Has it been a good season or has it been a poor season? Leave the information in the comment section below and uh, we're going to do a, a wrap up after duck season and kind of lay all the things out and kind of talk about what all we did. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to watch and uh, make sure you watch some of our other content as well. We've got some great duck hunting videos as well as some tips and tactics videos and even some cooking videos and there'll be lots more of those all to come in the future. So until next time, good hunting and God bless.